Hi and thank you for joining me. In this video we're not going to look at a specific maths skill. Instead we're going to look at how we might gain an extra couple of marks in an exam and we know how important that can be. In a functional skills exam paper there are quite often one or two situations where you have already answered a question, done your calculations, got to the answer and then you see at the bottom of the page an extra box and that box usually says something like show how you check your calculation or maybe just give a check for your answer. So you are expected to do something a little extra here in order to gain another mark on your score. What they are asking you to do is to perform a different mathematical function in order to check the answer you've got. And usually the best way to do that is to perform the calculation you've already made in reverse. I'm going to show you what I mean by having a look at a couple of examples. And in fact, before we have a look at a couple of examples, let's just investigate what we mean by reverse calculations. Simply, some basic functions are the opposite to others, and we're just going to use this fact in order to check our answers. So, for instance, let's say we have a sum which is 3 plus 5. We know that equals 8. In order to check this, we can do this backwards by simply saying, OK, let's start with the 8, take the 5 away, and we end up back with 3. So the fact that we've ended up where we started means that this calculation here is a check of the other one. And of course, it works the other way around. 7 minus 3 equals 4. Therefore, if we start with the 4 and we add the 3, we end up back with 7. So starting with a plus, we check it with a minus. Starting with a minus, we check it with a plus. And exactly the same is true with multiplication and division. So if we take a sum like 7 times 3, we know that is 21. That's a multiple. So to check it out, we are going to take the 21 and divide it by the 3 we end up back with the 7. Again, if we have started with a division, 12 divided by 6 is 2. Take the answer, 2. This was a division, so we multiply it back by the 6, and we end with 12. And we are simply going to carry out this process for a couple of exam questions. So let's move on. So here's our first question. Ash drives 38 miles to his first destination, then a further 41 miles to his second, and was simply being asked how many miles has he travelled in total. A straightforward question, because all we are being asked to do is add up his total journey, which is 38 plus 41, or if you want to write it out in the correct format, 38 plus 41, 8 plus 1 is 9, 3 plus 4 is 7, so in total the answer is 79 miles. OK, you've answered the question, scored maybe a couple of points for that one in your exam, and then you notice at the bottom it says show a check for your answer, and usually this is worth that extra mark that you might be looking for. What do we do? Well, we simply start with the 79, and we take away the 41. And by doing that, the answer we would get would be 38. So the fact that we have done one sum here, and we've done another sum here, and we've ended up back where we started, means that one of those sums has checked the other. So all we need to do is a reverse calculation and make sure we end up where we started. Let's have a look at a second question. In this one, Mary reviews films for a website. She can review five films each day. 
she's been given a list of 27 films to review and we're being asked how many days will this take her or well, the way we would answer this question to start with is by starting with the 27 films that she has to review and if we are looking at how many days it's going to take her we would divide that by five because she can review five each day so the question is how many fives in two well five's bigger than two so we carry the two fives into 27 are five five fives are 25 so that must mean the two remaining to carry we've run at the end of the number here so we put the decimal point in add the naught fives into 24 so it's actually going to take Mary 5.4 days the question is how many days 5.4 isn't a bad answer but in fact what is happening here that point four is actually the sixth day so it would take her rounded up to the nearest day six days okay we've got our answer but once again little line at the bottom show how you could check your answer well the simplest way is to look at the sum you did in the first place we did 27 divided by 5 is 5.4 days so if we take the 5.4 days and we multiply it by the 5 we will find that our answer is 27 and that's how many films she needs to review so in other words we did a division we are now going to check it by doing the opposite function the multiplication and we end up with 27 which is where we started in the first place so we have successfully checked our answer so keep an eye open for situations like that as i mentioned at the beginning this little calculation is usually an add-on and is at the end of one of your questions but it can happen one two maybe three times in an exam so that can be important when you're trying to reach that pass mark I hope that's been useful. Please hit the subscribe and the like button and hopefully I'll see you again. Thank you.